Hello everybody, my name is Zach, aka The Weather Gamer, bringing you some LTPL news with Eon. Hello, um, I'm Eon, one of the two commissioners of the LTPL, the other one being Hydra, who's not present right now. So, yeah. Eon and Hydra have a new, uh, kind of test the waters of the new tiering season uh hydra's broken playground and i'm just gonna let eon kind of talk about it and see if anybody's interested we'll have a link to the app in the description down below there'll be the ltpl discord link will actually be linked down below as well so you can join in that way um you can also join the weather gamer discord we'll kick you through to ltpl that link will be down there as well but um yeah the app the form and or the form the Discord, the other Discord, they don't have a doc yet, so that won't be linked down there. But I know you guys are announcing where certain mons are. Yeah. Um, so what um, what LTPL Hydra's Broken Playground is, is because it's still the very early season right now, and we're also currently making the switch to a point-based draft for the first time instead of a tier-based draft, we decided that we wanted to do a season where we just like now can are able to allow a lot of new like pretty much the majority of the new ones into our league as well as allow some pokemon that were previously considered to be way 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 strong just to make it a bit more fun because it is an off season it's a little bit more laid back it so like generally for the main season of LTPL we try to make it extreme like as competitively at, like as we can and this time it's a little bit more laid back um but pretty much um, what we will want to do is test out where all these new mons somewhat fit and what they can actually do in a league setting. And we don't want to base ourselves off of any other leagues because, well, the lower tier format is extremely different. And especially like now, like with like the complete Z mechanic gone now, um, we also don't have Megas. We've never had those, so that's not a big change. But yeah. Um, so as for the rules for Hydra's Broken Playground, um, we will have a national deck because while because we're already cutting a lot of months due to being a lower tier league, we didn't like the idea of cutting even more months. Um, however, what is banned are all the cut moves um, from Gen 8, stuff like Hidden Power, Pursuit, those moves are completely gone. Um, but Mons do have still have access to all their home moves like they should. Um, another interesting thing is um, that Dynamaxing will actually be allowed, and it's also part of the name Hydra's Broken Playground. Um, but we will limit this to only certain Pokemon, like only Pokemon of like around uh, 13 points and lower will be able to use a Dynamax. And for reference, we will have in total um, 16 different tiers, so 16 points is the highest you will have. Um, and you'll have a budget to draft um, with from like 105 points. And you have to draft a minimum of 10 Pokemon and a maximum of 12 Pokemon. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much um, Hydra's Broken Playground. Oh yeah, um, while Dynamax is allowed, Max Airstream is not allowed because that single Dynamax move is way too strong. And makes way too many Pokemon way, like, makes forces us to put them in way higher point categories than they actually should be. Like, for example, Braviary now is only 10 points. But if we had to allow Max Airstream, it may have been 14 or 15 points because it's just ridiculous with it. So yeah, that's pretty much Hydra's Broken Playground. If you're interested in signing up for it, um, we have uh, the form running until the 31st of December. And draft is planned to start around uh, the 4th of January. And um, yeah, while we don't have a full doc yet, like uh, Zach mentioned earlier, we're like slowly releasing some tier placements, but they are subject to change. Like for example, we revealed Corviknight as 14 points earlier, which was foolish. It's now up to 16 points. But generally, like they will roughly stay the same. And um, the main reason we haven't released a doc yet is because for the first time we'll be able to have 16 coaches in the LTPL. And we still have some adjustments to do to the doc coding to make it work for 16 coaches. So yeah, it's pretty much how it built I just broken playgrounds. So just to kind of entice a little bit, what are like some of the highlight quote-unquote broken mons that are available 
for those that don't know, um, like lower tier, like so that might not think, oh, that's what, not broken. Yeah, for us, like two months that we like, like I'm not gonna reveal anything that we haven't like revealed yet. Actually, yeah, for people that are listening, sure. Um, so first of all, we have Lucario, which is a Pokemon I've like been like. I would really like to allow this, but it's type combo and it's like its builds run nasty, plot and sword dance and a whole bunch of other moves makes it just too strong of a breaker in the lower tier format because generally fighting types are already extremely strong. So you have one that can also blow back steel types and terror types with e like um no that can blow back up psychic and uh, fairy types with ease. It just felt way too much. A uh, different one is Primarina, which is just, I think, anyone that's played Yu Yu last gen knows the strength of that mom. Um, but one that we haven't revealed yet that we're also allowing back is Taka Taka, which is a ridiculous mom because it can just set up its own win conditions by just simply trick rooming up. It's a lot less broken without um, Z moves, but even then, it's should be quite ridiculous in the format. So it's gonna be interesting who's gonna be able to grab that mom. Yeah, stag attack. Uh, wow. That's yeah. alrighty then. That definitely is a broken playground for Hydra. Um, so yeah, <laughs> if you guys are interested, again, the app will be linked down below. There's two discords that'll get you in there. Their actual discord, that'll be the first one, so... Hit that one. Don't hit mine unless you want to join mine as well for WWC or other leagues. Like, hit the LTPL one. I will put in big, bold, and separate it. LTPL. That's the server you're wanting to aim for. So, um, hit that one. I will vouch. It is a very well-run league. It is a very well-commissioned, uh, great group of people in that league i finished up season five with them i am not doing hydra's broken playground just because i have so much going on so yeah don't worry i would play if i didn't have so much going on so that should tell you it's good to go ian and hydra are great guys it's well run like seriously check it out even if you don't want to play in the season check out their discord hang around they're up to 16 like, coaches anyway. now so Anyone is, like, free to just join in and, like, just, like, spectate or, like, hang in there. Because, honestly, the chat, like, it's a pretty, like, cool place to just hang out as well. And also something I forgot to mention, in the form, you can also apply to be an analyst if you are only interested in that. Or if you want to be both a coach and an analyst, that's possible. But if you, like, are interested in, like, trying to do an analyst job, feel free to apply for that as well. Yep. If, you, if you're wanting to get into the analyst stuff... I highly recommend, don't take this the wrong way, Eon, but I highly recommend you find a smaller league that is more laid back and not like an industrial complex like APA or Mount Silver or oh yeah, that, like yeah. NCL. Those are high-end, like, industrial-type leagues. Yeah, that have... like, those are the massive leagues. Like, I'm not going to claim that I'm anything like that. Yeah. If you don't get it done in LTPL one week, they're not going to, like, kick you out so if you're wanting the analyst potential yeah. check that with them too highly highly recommend so like the main thing is just being able to like work it like more or less every week like yeah. stuff happens but like just being able to make some time for it every week that's the main qualification to be honest yeah so eon and i are gonna wrap here um please do check out Hydra's Broken Playground, if you want. Also, Eon, you need your own thing. If Hydra's got Hydra's Broken Playground, we need Eon <laughs> something. The um, main reason why we called it that is because Hydra keeps suggesting Pokemon to allow into the format that are way too strong. So it's like, you know what, that, that's the name of the season now. Yeah. So, check that out. We're gonna get out of here. See you guys next time. <laughs>